Hi everyone, it's Clarice. This is Clarice Reads and I've been kind of busy lately. I've been cleaning my room, learning a little bit of saxophone, rearranging the books on my shelf, spending some time with my friends and my family, and oh, also graduating from college. I recently graduated from college, which is kind of crazy. And if any of you are asking, I took up computer science, so now I'm officially a computer science graduate. So lately I've not only been busy with graduation related things, but also with things relating to what I have to do after graduation. You know, contacting possible employers, having job interviews, and actually accepting jobs. I also already have a job. Yeah, a lot has happened since my last video. I'm not working yet because I did want to take a little bit of a break after graduation, you know, to prepare for the work world as much as I could possibly prepare, even though I know that I can't actually prepare for it. To also just spend time with my friends while I can. But I'm going to start working pretty freaking soon, at least to me. And so there's been a lot of preparations for that, definitely. Actually, when I turned on this camera, I'd intended to film a recently read and currently reading video, but right after I hit record, I changed my mind <laughs> because I realized that I actually haven't been reading much recently, and so I'd rather wait a little bit for me to have more to talk about in a video. And also because I did want to update you a little bit on my life, and I didn't want to just tack that into the front of a recently read and currently reading video. I'd rather just leave that sort of video alone instead of trying to mess with it and talk about other things in the beginning, if that makes sense. But because of that, I'm just talking here and I have no idea where this video is going. It's a true reads and rambles video today because I'm really just rambling. I guess I don't want to go through this video without mentioning this beautiful Brandon Sanderson shelf. These aren't all my Brandon Sanderson books, but these are all my Cosmere books for Brandon Sanderson. Um, these Mistborn books I've had for a while, but these ones I got recently for my birthday. It's the first two books in the Stormlight Archive series, which are so big that they had to be split into like two books for these editions. I got them as a gift from my friend Gio. Gio is amazing and I was just so happy when I got them. I actually immediately started rereading The Way of Kings when I got this because this is a series that I really want to reread. The third book is coming out soon, so I want to be able to actually reread the first two books before I start reading that again. Though I only got this far because it's just I wasn't in a reading mood, but at the same time I was reading it and I'm like, this is so good. I think once I finish rereading these two books, I'm going to like it even more than Mistborn. And that's crazy because I love Mistborn so much. But anyway, I just wanted to share because the UK editions of Brandon Sanderson's books are amazing. I hope to accumulate more, but so far I only have Mistborn and Stormlight Archive books. But look how pretty they are all together already. I'm really looking forward to like adding to this shelf in the future. Like I said, though, I haven't been reading much. I like figuring out patterns and I kind of wanted to understand why there are certain times that I read more than others. It isn't when I'm busiest that I read the least because it's actually when I have a lot of schoolwork that I usually end up reading a lot. I talk about this in some other Reads and Rambles video, I'm pretty sure. But generally, it's just that I appreciate my free time so much more when I'm busy with a lot of schoolwork, for example. And so I do a lot of schoolwork. I know when I take a break, I really deserve this. I just want to do something that's not schoolwork. I read a book. So it's not when I have the least time actually that I read the least. It's when I have a lot of other things on my mind that I don't read. It's usually when I have a lot going on in my personal life that I don't end up reading. For the last year or so, I've actually been dating, which is strange because the years prior to that, I was actually in this really long-term relationship. And the last year is probably when my reading has been the most inconsistent. And I noticed actually the times when I was reading the least were the times when I was kind of actively dating someone specific. So I guess it's when I have a lot going on in my love life that I don't read much. I don't know. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about my love life, but just something I noticed and I thought it was interesting, so I figured I'd share it. So if you look at my Goodreads in the last 12 months, notice which months I'm reading the most. Those are the months when I was super, super single. I had no idea when I turned on this camera that I would start talking about my love life. But I don't know, this is the first video I filmed in a long time wherein I legitimately didn't have any plan going into it. All I knew is I wanted to wear my graduation cap because I have to return it very soon. So I might as well make use of it. So anyway, that's been my life lately. A lot has been going on. 
maybe in a week or two I'm actually going to get around to filming that recently read and currently reading video. I did not mean to put up two reads and rambles videos straight, but you know, I just haven't been reading much lately. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!